Good evening. I'm Greg Jeske. Thank you for joining us tonight. It is relatively quiet, thankfully, on Williamson Street in Madison right now, one night after a police officer shot and killed an unarmed 19-year-old man. We have team coverage tonight that begins with Jennifer Cleasy live at the scene of the shooting in the 1100 block of Willie Street. Jen. Well, Greg, it, it's a little dark right now, but you can probably see there are still police here on scene at the home where the incident happened. Earlier today, hundreds of people rallied in the streets showing their support for Tony Robinson. There was also a much more peaceful gathering at a local church, but neither group was able to hide their anger today. An emotional day in Madison started with planning. This is not a day. This is a movement. Activism. Send those killer cops to jail. And protests throughout town. I believe that we will win. Leading to the scene on Williamson Street where 19-year-old Tony Robinson was shot and killed by an officer. An angry group seeking justice. He shot a child. He shot a child dead. And the reason this community won't blink is because he looks the way he does. I see a lot of kids with emotions um, and uncertain what, what to do with them. So it is our job as a community to support them, encourage them, educate them, and to stand with them. That raw frustration, even apparent among community leaders gathering together at Fountain of Life Church. So when you walk up out of here today, I don't want to have unity. I want to have action. If you all want real leadership, to go home, look in the mirror, it starts with you. Finding solutions from those who know the problems the community faces the best. It's not okay for us to lower the bar for our boys and our young men. And we have to let them know that the bar is high and that it's expected that they do great things. We know how to do it. We know who can do it. We know where it's being done. The question is, will we resource these efforts? so that we can make the change we want. Religious leaders asking for continued support for the Robinson family and a collective effort for a better future. Do not let trauma push us into apathy. And these feelings have been shared by people of all ages today. Kristen Barbarisi has been covering this story from the beginning. Today you found even young people are showing their support. Definitely. Well, we now know that Tony Robinson was a recent graduate of Sun Prairie High School. And tonight when Sun Prairie Boys Basketball took on Madison Memorial, all students decided to wear black. They called it a blackout and they did it in honor of Robinson. On the court, it was Sun Prairie versus Madison Memorial. But off the court, the student section was on the same team. At this moment, it's not about what school you go to. It's about a community that needs to come together and really just focus on what's most important right now about this horrible loss. Shelby Ring is a junior at Sun Prairie and says Tony Robinson was her friend, and she's struggling to understand what happened. She helped organize Saturday's blackout on social media. We just want to get the word out about how this is not OK and this needs to change. Memorial students say it was important to show solidarity. Like just to show that like we're all a family, you know, it's a sad thing that happened and you know we have to all come together for something like that. Kai Burcham, a senior at Memorial, says though the investigation is ongoing and they don't know the details, the loss of any life is tragic. To be honest, it's hard to like know what the real story is. Nobody really knows exactly what happened. Uh, I think it's good that people are protesting and voicing their words, and it hasn't turned violent yet, I believe, and that's a good thing. Shelby says the turnout for the blackout indicates the strength of the community. I heard that it's um, other basketball teams are going to do it too for it. It's just something that's really cool that's going to keep going, I hope. Shelby says there are a lot of current Sun Prairie High School students who were friends with Robinson, Robinson because he was a recent graduate. So, Jen, the school is actually going to have support counselors on hand for students who have questions, concerns, or just want to talk about how they're feeling about this situation. So many showing their support for the family.